Good morning, Bobcats, and happy Thursday. Thank you for joining me this morning for WBLS Morning News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. Today is Thursday, February the 23rd, and it is special area day three. That's special area day three. You know what? I want to give uh, one of our classes an extra special shout out today. We had Miss Munoz's kindergarten class in our media center yesterday, and I just want to compliment them. They did a great job. I told them they were one of the best class we had had all week so far. And also, I want to give another kindergarten class a shout out, Miss Gregory's class, because on Tuesday, we had a special guest, Dr. Butler, who was our principal for the day. And she and Mr. Millard read books to Miss Gregory's kindergarten class, and they were fantastic listeners. We are both, we are so proud of both of those kindergarten classes. Great job. Now, our weather today is going to be a high of 80, a low of 66 with partly sunny skies. It sure does not feel like February, does it? For lunch today, we will have corn dog minis, turkey ham and cheese pockets, green beans, potatoes, 100% fruit juice or fresh Florida fruit and white chocolate or strawberry milk. We want to wish these Bobcats a very happy birthday today. Ezra and Miss Bergman's class, happy birthday. Andrew and Mr. Griffith's class, happy birthday, Andrew. Number 11, that's exciting. And also Luke in Miss Doherty's class will be celebrating his 11th birthday. Happy birthday to all three of these nice young men. Here's a quick kindness quote for you today. If you see someone without a smile, give them yours. If you see someone without a smile, give them yours. How could you do that, I wonder?
Think about that. Could you do a kind deed? Could you maybe put your arm around them and say, are you okay? Do you need anything? Do you need a friend? Could you go sit with a friend that might look sad and doesn't have their smile? I bet you could come up with something. And that quote was actually from Dolly Parton. She is a well-known country singer, but in my world, what she is known for, not only for country music, is that in 1995, she started a new program, and it's called the Imagination Library. And what it is, is she started this in her little town in Tennessee and she started mailing free books every month to the children in her county that were from the when they were first little teeny tiny babies when they were first born all the way till when they were five and went to kindergarten because I know at my house we have so many books so many books my children had a stack of stack, stack, stack of books before they were ever born. But do you know there are some children that at their house they do not have books? And so Miss Dolly Parton wanted every child to have books, and so she started this. Well, now, this year, as of this year, they mail, listen to this, guys, over 2 million books around the world every month. Is that amazing? Do you think that brings a smile? to a child's face? I believe so also. Listen, I bet there's going to be some first graders smiling today because they're going on a field trip to the Challenger Learning Center. Miss Howell's class, Miss McDermott's, Miss Shively, and Miss Stark's class are all going to the Challenger Learning Center for a field trip today. It was always a favorite of mine. Now, first graders, don't forget you are an ambassador of our school. What does that mean? That means you're going to have your cute little uh, first grade shirts on. And I, I'm assuming it says Buck Lake on it. And they're going to look and they're going to say, whoa, look at those amazing first graders from Buck Lake Elementary School. And so we know you will make us proud and we hope you have a great day. Hey, that's all for today, Bobcats. Remember to purr, be prepared, be upstanding, be responsible, and always be respectful. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.